Hey everybody! Today Rado runs through his Edge of Darkness box, which is just a dumb little video I'm making because I saw a thread on Board Game Geek. Somebody just got their Kickstarter Super Pledge Edge of Darkness in the mail, and they got all and said, I don't even know how to start with this thing! There's too much! So I figured I'd just jump on camera and show you how I've got my ginormous, uh, ridiculous box stuffed full of Edge of Darkness goodness. Hey, there's a rule book and uh, the uh, the Dune Star and the handbook and the solo rules, hooray! And the, the board, okay. And so you see, I've just got all the cards. This is for the base game and for Dune Star, just all here in the center. And then I've got, oh, what was that? Office updates are available, how exciting. And uh, I've got the bag full of cubes, just the non-player cubes by default. And then these are the solo rules and, uh, you know, uh, some other just base skill stuff. I just stuff here in the middle box. And then over uh, between that, and the tower, which as you can see, comes apart in two pieces. So I just shoved that piece down here, put this on top, and then I've got just all the plastic and whatnot. I mean, the miniatures are nice. I don't know if I would ever use them. I, uh, but regardless, I've got all those things here. And then the actual player board stuffed here between the tower and the cards, uh, along with the little sideboards, which I can't imagine I'd ever have enough table space to actually use. And then over on the other side, oh, yeah, yeah, plastic coins are nice, but you know what, I like actual art on my stuff. Although, yeah, you, you can't really argue with these metal coins, which are absolutely awesome. And then, you know, each player gets their own bag of stuff. Uh, you know, the basic starting cards and all the cubes and colors uh, for each set. And, uh, oh, here, I'm right now. Uh, I, I uh, did not do as well as... No, I, actually, I beat Jen. Hooray, yay me. And then I just have all the miniatures, which, again, I mean, they're lovely. They're nice if you like these kinds of things. But I've hardly even taken them out. Actually, because I, I don't think they would fit back into these slots if you put the, uh, the, you know, the player rings on them and all that. And honestly, I am fine with these little guys for deploying my workers. I mean, that said, if I if these were painted, oh my gosh, yeah, I would totally use them all the time. But I like color more than gray. And then, um, you know, so the, they're all stacked up. The little cube thingies just kind of stack up over here along with the, what is it, the first player marker and the round marker. So they're just over there on the side. All the miniatures in their trays on top. Someday, man, I would love to get these painted. Alrighty, and then you know the player, 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 and coins and whatnot, and all the plastic, which at this point I'm not really planning on using, and uh, it all goes back away. Bye bye. So very nicely done. Not much room for more cards as it stands. Maybe a little bit more because you know these don't have to be in here. These could fit over on the sides, and there'd be room for maybe one more expansion worth of cards. Maybe, maybe. Although with Dune Star, there's already so much. It's absolutely amazing what all you get in the box of Edge of Darkness. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Oh, bye bye.